Mexican tacos are always a treat. So what better way to include them in your finger food party than to make a mini version? Hi, I'm Taryn. Welcome. Today is all about making a miniature version of the well-loved taco and showing you how you can serve this as part of a finger food or tapas style menu. You can add lots of different fillings or combinations of fillings or even let your guests fill their own. Anyway, these tacos aren't going to make themselves, so let's get them into the oven. These are the things that we need. We've got tortilla wraps and olive oil to make our taco crisps, and a selection of filling ingredients. I've got avocado and lemon juice to make a guacamole, corn, capsicum and shredded chicken, a bit of mayo and paprika for flavourings, and some feta cheese and chives for garnishing. First we'll make our little taco shells. I'm going to use this circle cutter to cut out our taco shells from the tortilla wrap. Depending on the thickness of your tortilla, this might need a bit of pressure. We want our taco to be this shape. So to do this, we'll put them onto an upside down muffin tin. Oil both sides of each circle and then pop them between the muffin cups to hold them in the shell-like shape. Sometimes these naughty little things decide they're going to pop out, so make sure they're in there nice and firmly. You can also make little taco baskets by baking them inside the muffin tin if you prefer. Now they're ready for the oven to crisp up. I'm going to put them into a nice hot oven for about 10 minutes. Here they are, nicely browned and ready to fill. I'll just put them aside while I prepare my filling. We'll make a simple guacamole by mashing the avocado. I like to have a soft, sticky component at the bottom of the taco. This helps to stick all the other toppings on and gives it a heavier base. Add a little squirt of lemon juice and a good grind of salt and pepper. I'll also put this into a piping bag. It's much easier to pipe the avocado into the small taco than to spoon it in. I'm going to add the mayonnaise and paprika to my shredded chicken for a bit of added flavour. Cooked mince, beans or prawns are a good alternative to the chicken too. My chicken shreds are a little bit long, so I'll chop them up a bit. Then we'll finally dice the capsicum. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on basic knife skills that'll give you tips on how to do this and other techniques. You can make a nice taco buffet with all of your toppings prepared and guests can fill their own with their favourites. And lastly, we can chop the chives for a little pop of green. We've got all our filling ingredients ready and prepared, so let's get our tacos and get them filled. I'll start with the guacamole, piping a little line along each one. Doing this while the tacos are still balanced on the muffin tin is really helpful. Next, I'll sprinkle on the chicken. Push it down as you're putting it in so that it sticks to the avocado. Then add some corn. Corn really adds to the Mexican flavours of the taco, but you can use so many different things to fill your tacos. I like to use what I've got on hand, but I also like to think about what colours will complement each other. We can also add the capsicum for our burst of red, and then a sprinkle of feta. Sour cream or mint yogurt would also taste delicious. And to finish these off, I'll add a sprinkle of the green chopped chives, and then they're ready for plating. To present these today, I'm going to use a black plate to contrast with the taco colors. I think they'll look really cool in a circular pattern. They're not very steady on their bottoms, so I'm trying to balance them on each other. It's not really working. If I pick up this plate, they're going to fall over like dominoes. So back to the drawing board. 
I have some leftover avocado, so I'm going to put a wee blob under each taco to stick it to the plate. Let's give it a go. This looks like it's working a treat. And I've just got a little leafy green garnish here, celery leaves and spinach. Stick it in there. Don't these look delicious? Tacos are a messy food at the best of times, but these mini taco bites are a perfect finger food as they're hardly more than one bite. I love how the colours contrast against the dark plate. The reds, the green, yellow, white, looks stunning. And now that we've got those tacos glued to the plate, we've also got the height from the taco standing upright. Let me know in the comments what your favourite taco fillings are. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Happy tacoing! If you found this video helpful, I've got another one lined up for you up here and a playlist ready to go down here. See you next time!